A Grand Rapids police officer is out of the hospital, but looking at a long road to recovery after his cruiser was hit head on by a suspected drunk driver last night. We have dash cam video from the crash. News 8's Joe LaFergie is in the newsroom right now with the details. Joe. Well, as you'll see in the video, the officer had little time to react. What you don't see is what he did after the crash, despite his severe injuries. Dash cam video from the GRPD SUV shows what appears to be a routine evening for the officer behind the wheel. He wasn't responding to a call. He wasn't in a pursuit. He was simply uh, just driving. The 32-year-old officer was headed north on Eastern. As he nears the intersection of Eastern and Griggs, the vehicle ahead of him swerves. Seconds later, out of the darkness, a speeding vehicle emerges. Traveling very fast without its headlights on directly at the officer and, and hit him head on. So very frightening situation. I never want to see obviously one of my police officers in an accident, but if that uh, had if that vehicle was occupied by a, an elderly individual, you know, a child, someone who wasn't properly restrained, that accident could have ended in a much more tragic way. That's how uh, hard that this officer was hit. The suspect is still in the hospital. Investigators think he was driving drunk and are waiting for toxicology reports to come back. What the video doesn't show is what the police officer who's been with the GRPD 3 years after coming to the city from another police department did in the moments after the crash. The officer gets out even in his injured state and immediately goes over and checks on the occupant of this other vehicle. So that goes to the mindset of this officer always looking out for um, for the, the people at Grand Rapids even when he's hurt and when that person is clearly at fault. Now, most police officers spend the majority of their time behind the wheel, so they're exposed to the dangers of drunk drivers 24-7. If you want to check out that video, the video that shows that danger firsthand, we have it at woodtv.com.